Oh, well, hey, friends. How's it going? Um, it's <laughs> talk about a long time. I know I keep like getting criticized for not giving myself enough time to do videos and that sort of thing, but um, I think we hit over a year since the last video, and uh, yeah, it there was reasons for it, and this has been a really hard time getting to this point, and I don't know if you can tell my anxiety is through the roof right now because it's been literally so long since I've made a video. Um... But I kind of, so I'll go back to when this all happened, January 21st last year, um, I got attacked on a bus and I never really said anything because I could lose my job by saying anything about what happened at work. Um, but the thing is, is the attack was weird in that I never actually physically got hit. My hand was up against her and protecting myself, but it didn't make sense in my brain because I didn't get hit, but I was protecting myself because literally we made physical contact, but I had been trained really well in customer service from a previous job and was able to defuse the situation before it turned into anything. I was like, look, you're at your stop. This is where you guys wanted to go. Like it's Saturday night, just get off the bus and have a good night kind of thing. Um, and so I didn't get hit, but my, safety was violated that night and I was so messed up from it um if you watch the video from last year December 20 or sorry January 21st um like I was destroyed and I've it took a really long time to make sense in my brain what happened but my anxiety was brutal as a result of it and so I haven't really talked about it much because I could have lost my job over posting videos so I was pretending to be happy and pretending that everything was okay in my life, but it wasn't. And um, I was at the point where I couldn't even lift a glass of water off the table because I would get so anxious and then so depressed um, that it just, and then my brain would run wild because it didn't make sense because I didn't get hit. Um, so I've kind of felt really weak and vulnerable as a result of it. And it's, really hard to describe, but it resulted in me not being able to drive a bus anymore. Um, and so I actually quit my job with Winnipeg Transit this past summer, um, which is a huge change. And I mean, it breaks my heart because I really did enjoy my job there and I liked driving the bus. Um, but one of my coworkers got killed. It was the first murder of a bus driver ever in Canada. And um, it was awful and it should have never happened. Uh, but the passengers got worse and my anxiety got worse. And I was at the point where it would take me almost an hour just to shower every morning to force myself to go to work. And then the entire time, um, I got an Apple watch and it monitors my heart rate. It would think that I was exercising all day just because my heart rate was racing that fast driving a bus because I was that afraid of every possible negative situation that could possibly ever happen even though it wasn't going to, that was where my brain sat. And so it was rough and there was really no support for it. And it resulted in me not being able to do my job anymore. So that was one of the biggest changes that happened in my life. Uh, and as a result of that, I have found a new job and I'm working at a really, really awesome company, a local airline here. Um, well, we'll talk about that in another video. Um, I kind of just want to get through this one and kind of explain why I disappeared and what's been going on and um, yeah, it's not been a fun place and I've really been struggling because I consider myself pretty smart and it was something that my brain couldn't make sense of and other people couldn't make sense of. Like my manager could never figure out what I was talking about when I was talking about how upset I was and how scared to come to work I was and how everything I did I thought I was going to get fired over because of just this like anxiety that had been created and so I like have had a really awesome doctor that has helped me out with a lot of things I have a really great group of friends that I've been able to talk to um, and I feel like I'm now at the point where I'm able to start talking to you again and sharing my story uh, so that's where we're at with that um, but I, as you can tell, don't live downtown anymore. One of the things that has been missing and has been causing me a lot of frustration is the fact that I haven't been vlogging anymore. 
um, because this is something that I do enjoy, and I don't vlog so much for the sake of vlogging or making a channel. I vlog for me, which is, I think, one of the most important parts, and then watching some of the videos that I was making, I was really disappointed with the quality of content that I was publishing, but it also was the quality of my mental and or mental stability. Um, so I stopped because I physically and emotionally just couldn't put any energy into anything else um, with what little energy I was having left. And so I've kind of been really trying to focus on the things that bring joy to my life and happiness. And so I'm trying to rebuild my health. And one of the pieces of my health that was missing was definitely vlogging. So I'm hoping to come back to daily vlogging. Uh, and I know I say this all the time, but it's going to be a little rough at the beginning because, well, it's been a really long time since I've done this. So um, for those of you that watch, thanks so much for subscribing. Um, I know that it's been a really long time and I apologize that I disappeared, but life happened and I wasn't allowed to talk about it. So that was a really frustrating time of my life because the outlet that I use to share my emotional well-being was taken away from me because I could have got fired and not having a roof over my head is something that definitely is important to me. So um, yeah, so thanks so much for watching and I'm going to try and post more videos. Uh, I'm Today's day one of a four-day stretch at work for me, so I work 12-hour days and then I'm on call for 12 hours even though I'm off work. So I've got my two cell phones going here, and yeah, it's a pretty awesome job that I've got now. We'll talk a little bit more about that another time. I'm sure I'll have lots of fun stories, but tomorrow's going to be another busy day because we are flying people back home after fire evacuation, so I'm going to head to bed. But on that note, thanks again for watching. Sorry I've disappeared. Hopefully this will uh, go a lot better, and yeah, thanks for your patience with me. Anyway, have a great day, and I will talk to you tomorrow. Okay, bye!